Hi, and welcome back to another vlog. Caitlin and I decided to take the weekend off of filming, which we both very much needed. She's spending some time with her niece and nephew. I'm just doing stuff with Mike, doing some of the errands and chores and whatnot that we've just been needing to get done, but have been pushing to the side. But first, before we get into anything, Mike and I went to Costco yesterday, and I had seen these briefly on Instagram somewhere. They are the Like Air Baked Puff corn pancake, better than popcorn, won't get caught in your teeth. Gluten-free, non-GMO, no, art no artificial ingredients. Probably made in the USA. Pancakes are something that I miss dearly since I've been gluten-free. Yes, I have found decent alternatives. However, the, this is gonna sound really specific and strange. They smell like McDonald's pancakes, which I used to love, okay? I don't even care. They taste. like maple clouds but with a little bit of salt. It's so good. It definitely curbs that salty sweet craving. Highly recommend if you can find them. Again, they're called Like Air. They do have an Instagram. It's at Like Air Snacks. So if you wanna see what Mike and I are getting into around the house this weekend, be sure to keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos. Uh, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss out on new content. Caitlin and I just posted a favorites video. We posted a beauty tools video. We've got an empties that just went up, I think last week. So there's a lot of new content out there. If vlogs aren't your thing, totally get it. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Okay, back to the video. Goodbye. I am going to be getting myself ready, which never happens during the week, uh, cause Mike and I are gonna go to dinner. My hair is a disaster. I'm hating it every second of the day. I hate how long it is. I hate how dry it feels. I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood to chop it off. And this is what I do. I grow my hair long and then I cut it all off. And then I grow my hair long and then I cut it all off. I just, it's a cycle. I get bored. I don't know what kind of look I'm going for, but I know I want to start with primer. So I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm using Lancome Tinted Doll in the shade 250. I'm also probably going to mix something else in with it. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with SPF 50. I like the finish very much because it's not full coverage, but it evens everything out. Okay, I'm trying out a new concealer. In fact, it goes hand in hand with the Tenty Doll foundation because it's the Tenty Doll concealer. This I really like for spots, I've learned. It's a very budge proof concealer. I can't really speak to how it does or does not crease under the eyes because I'm really trying to be sparing with it. So the doe foot applicator is massive. I'm just covering up a little red spot I have there and then my chin loses coverage really quickly, I think, because I sit like this a lot. So I'm gonna put a little there, but then as far as under eye concealer, I'm really focusing it on the inner corners where I'm dark and purple and then a little bit on the outside. I'm not trying to go under my eye where all those creases hide. No, sir. I wouldn't say this is a hydrating concealer. It is my perfect match though, oh my goodness. For my chin, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. I've only worn it two times, but both times I've worn it, I've found that it really does stay put. Like whatever is extra on my sponge, I will kind of just bounce under my eye, but I'm not trying to draw concealer there. So that's the concealer on. I'm immediately gonna set it with my number seven Lift and Luminate Powder, Damp Sponge, Look Up. I'm not baking, I'm just setting. I'm gonna use something I very infrequently reach for. It's my mini Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow Palette. This is the perfect size. They make a bigger one, but I just feel like I have so many bronzers and highlighters, it's just not necessary. So I'm really just like bronzing and contouring all in one. I lied. 
I want more color, more bronze. So I'm gonna use Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder, gigantic pan. This has a little bit of warmth and shimmer to it, not chunky glitter, but just like nice highlighting properties. But I like the warmth a lot. I am using L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. This is the shade Rosewood. This is a really nice blush. It's got a satin finish. It has a nicely sized mirror. And I'm trying to do the thing where I'm putting my blush higher on my cheeks to make myself look younger and more lifted. <laughs> I'm on to brow brows. First of all, my pencil is my tried and true Brow Lux Precision Brow Pencil. But the thing that I'm doing that's new is just not really filling it in very much. I'm gonna brush the hairs up where I want them. And really, I'm just gonna focus on filling in any sparse areas. So for me, that's like very much the head of my brow and a little bit at the arch. But I'm, I really don't love a super defined brow look on myself anymore. And then the magical part is is the brow gel. This is the Archology Brow Sculpting Gel from Beauty Pie. It's so good, so good. Lovely, if you will. What? Wait until you see. It has synthetic beeswax, so where you put your brows, they will stay. And I have a lot of long brow hair and I like a fluffy feathery brow. So that's my left brow done. This might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Are they perfect? No. Are they twins? No. Do I care? No. I'm gonna prime my lashes with my L'Oreal Lash Primer. I mean, this gives you like sky high lashes. Sky high. That is the makeup minus the lip. As you can see, if there is any creasing under my eye, it's very minimal. And I really encourage you, if you find yourself having a significant eye creasing problem, try not to put it directly under your eye. Like when I see women and men on YouTube drawing these huge triangles, I'm just thinking like, oh my gosh, that's just so much more attention grabbing and that's not what I wanna do. Of course I wanna brighten up my under eye. I don't wanna have fine lines there. I don't wanna have darkness there, but that's the reality of my skin and most people's skin. So honestly, just doing the dot in the inner corner and the dot on the outer corner, I just find that's what works best for me. Everyone is different, of course. If drawing that triangle under your eye works for you, keep doing it, but it does not work for me. I look hold. Now for a lip. Starting with a forever favorite, NYX Nude Suede Shoes. Yeah, I'll do this. This is a nice hydrating option. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous Balm, which you know I've been in love with. This is in the shade Glossed Up Bros. It's a little pink for me, but ta-da, that's my look. My dress is old and wrinkled from J. Crew. It's cute, but it's wrinkled and I really shouldn't even wear it, but I really wanted to wear like a fun bright green. It kind of reminds me of like a 50 South wife. And don't be just zooming in on my butt. Okay. You wanna, I already know it. Oh! What are you doing? What are you doing? This is my pineapple tomato plant. This one is doing the best out of all. Actually, no, cherries are doing better. But look at all of these. I've got one that's blushing back here, which I'm very excited about. I'm like trying to make sure they're not damp because damp tomatoes is just not a good thing. Like you want to let them breathe. I could probably come out here and cut some more shit, honestly. So many tomatoes, okay. holy shit. Then these are sun golds. This is really taken over. And then over here, excuse me, sir. This, oh, 
I have a blushing one. <gasps> yes, these you do. are pine. No, these are Mr. Stripey's, which are the ones I'm most excited about. You said they're also Mr. Stripey's. Oh, sorry, pineapple tomato. This is just one day's haul from one plant. And then these guys are all volunteers. As in, <laughs> they just popped up. Barkley! What's this? <laughs> that was cute. Hi. Do you want a tomato? Do you want a tomato? You gonna eat that? Yeah. You better get that. feeling puffy. I had a bite of something that has gluten in it last night and my eyes were like Whoa. bad mistake on my end but it is what it is. Caitlin and I have decided to take a weekend off from filming. She's gonna be visiting with her niece and nephew and Mike and I are just gonna date each other this weekend. I'm really excited. I'm gonna do an eye mask. This is the eye perfecting trio so there are three different types of eye masks in here. There's a rejuvenating, rejuvenating eye gel an illuminating eye gel and a restoring night eye gel. I'm gonna go rejuvenating because I feel like I need it. Voila, here is the adorable little sachet, perfect for traveling or on the go. All right, rejuvenate me, baby. And for me, sometimes I put them on the other direction. It just depends. I don't really think it makes that much of a difference. Like whichever way I take it out of the pack is usually the way I put it on my face. Okay, they're on and there they shall stay until they dry up. But I also wanna do a detoxifying face mask. I haven't masked in a really long time. So I'm gonna use this one, it's by Mara. It's the Volcanic Sea Clay Detox Mask. I have talked about this in a favorites video before. It's wonderful, um, but it is quite pricey. It's very like soft and pudding-like in texture. If you don't wanna spend this money, I would recommend the Youth to the People Super Clay Purify and Clear Power Mask. This was actually sent in PR. I love Youth to the People and I really love this mask. Different color, but very similar texture, very soft and pudding like. I think you get the same kind of results from both of these masks. This one is a bit cheaper and you get more product. So it's, it's really just all in what you wanna do. I'm gonna use the Mara because it is pricey and I don't want it to dry out. So I'm gonna let that sit until it dries, probably about 15 minutes. Didn't really plan that very well, did ya? If you've been watching us for a while, you know that I really love Ren skincare. I love their body care. I use a lot of their products for the bathtub. I've just been genuinely happy with almost every single thing I've ever tried. And one of my favorite lines is the Evercom line. And they came out with a new serum that they've been working on for a while. And with that, they sent some other staples from the line. So I have the Gentle Cleansing Gel to soothe and balance. I have not used this yet, but um, I did attend a Zoom session the other day with JD Weighty 180 I got to watch her give her sister a facial live and she like answered her questions. It was so cool. Um, so thank you to Ren for that. And then they also sent the Evercom Gentle Cleansing Milk to soothe and protect. I think this is gonna be something that my skin really loves. They also sent along their Global Protection Day Cream, which I've had and used in the past, Caitlin as well. And then my favorite thing from the line has always been the Overnight Recovery Balm. I'm sure you've heard me talk about this. I'm sure you've seen it at MTs. It is my favorite wintertime slash cold weather slash dry air moisturizer. It's like a balm to oil. I can't explain it. Like I don't want it to sound like it's greasy, ooh, disgusting. It's 
luxurious and transformative, trust me. And then their newest product, the thing that the launch was kind of around, was the Redness Relief Serum. It's for sensitive skin. I'm really excited to put this to use. I do have redness, especially around my nose and on my chin. Those are hormonal areas. As a woman, I just am dealing with that kind of stuff, as are most of us, I'm sure. So this morning, I'm just kind of checking on the video that just most recently went live see how it's doing, reply to comments. I typically try to do that for the first few hours, like just to see where it is in relation to our other videos. I don't know, I really like to track analytics. It's a very nerdy, dorky thing, but it's fun for me. So yeah, I'm excited for a low key chill weekend. I haven't had one of those in a very long time. Mike is actually dealing with two herniated discs and as you can imagine that has been stressful but also very painful and uncomfortable for him so we're just trying to take it easy he does have an appointment to get two injections into his spine <clears throat> disgusting to try to help relieve the pain because he's tried less invasive methods he's tried you know oral steroids and physical therapy and various stretching and whatnot it's just it's bad it's really bad so if this doesn't work I don't know what's next, probably surgery. So, send him some good happy thoughts. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, you missed. You smell like the smoker. Gosh. So Mike and I went to Old Westminster Winery yesterday to pick up our monthly wine packet. So I thought I would show you what we got. So we have a Rosé 2020, which Mike doesn't like, but I'll drink. Uh, Origins, which is a white, a Chardonnay. Fuck, we forgot to change that out. Mm -hmm. Neither of us like Chardonnay. We have a Sauvignon Blanc, which we started drinking yesterday. A full Sauvignon Blanc, a Rev, which is a red, and a Trio, which is also another white. And um, that's guy. it. Barkley says we have to shut up now and go outside. Listen, I hate birds. I've never really liked them. Some of them, fine, they're cool, whatever. Most of the time they just get on my fucking nerves. Case in point, I have been waiting to be able to get my grubby paws on a ripened pineapple tomato. Sorry, Mr. Stripey, because I've never had one. And every single time they get close, birds start to peck holes in them and ruin them. And so I'm putting, um, I'm covering them tonight with anti-bird netting, AKA tool, so that they can't continue to ruin my beautiful harvest. probably looks like I'm just massacring my tomatoes. I kind of am. I know that tomatoes thrive when there's a way for good airflow to get through them. Therefore, cutting off sun leaves, like what I'm doing now, will help that. It will also expose the fruit more readily to birds. So as you saw, Mike is smoking his first brisket. We've never made brisket before. It's one of my favorite meats. I'm gonna put a little more stock in there since yeah. I might have lost most of Quarter it. Quarter cup, probably. So we haven't talked about this, but we have a Traeger smoker grill. What kind is it? 
Pro 780. That <laughs> sounds like a vibrator. Uh, so I bought Mike a Traeger grill around Father's Day. It's something that we've been talking about for a while. We definitely needed to upgrade our grill. I just, I surprised him with it. I bought it online. There were pretty decent deals going on around Father's Day. And so I figured this is, this is your year long gift. This encompasses all of the holidays and celebrations and whatever. We aren't gift givers, but sometimes we like to surprise one another with something. I just thought this was a good opportunity because we needed a new one, it was a good deal, and I really love smoked meats. And Mike has been wanting to try to get into it as a hobby. He's made pork for carnitas, delicious. So moist, amazing. He's also done like the best smoked grilled chicken thighs I've ever had and steak. The steak, which you saw in like a little snippet. Best steak I've ever had. Best steak I've ever had. It's so good. So now we're trying to risk it. We're also going to be going over to my aunt and uncle's house later today for just a really low key casual cookout family hang session. And so our, our contribution is some smoked meats. I'm very excited. And my grandmother is making potato, potato salad. Potato salad. Potato salad. Which she makes the best potato salad. I also wanted to say thank you for the kind words on the previous vlog in which all I did was can and preserve food. Like I said, I know that content is vastly different than what you're used to seeing here, but um, it was nice to see that most of you enjoyed it. And so thank you for that. I'm going to continue to try to sprinkle in little bits of that moving forward because it is very interesting to me and it's a very worthwhile hobby in my opinion. You know, I'm learning stuff from other YouTubers. Hopefully you're learning something from me and if not, hopefully you're just entertained. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. As I mentioned in a previous vlog, we are members of a CSA farm share and this week we got two bags of tomatillos and before they went bad, I decided to turn them into salsa verde, which I've done in the past. I forgot to show you how I made it, but it was very simple. I did not weigh them. I simply rinsed my tomatillos after I peeled away the paper. I cut them in half and put them cut side down on a baking sheet along with two cloves of garlic. So after they became blistered and juicy, I took the pan out. I poured the tomatillos, including the skin and all of the juice that was expelled into my food processor. I also added to that a, about a quarter of a diced white onion. Don't interrupt me, Michael. <laughs> You're very distracting. I know, I'm just so good looking. I also didn't have jalapenos on hand, so I used pickled jalapenos and it tastes just the same. I, like, what a good hack shortcut, honestly. Even better. Uh, and I don't put cilantro in it because I hate cilantro. You do what you want to do. So after I pulsed all that together, that's when I added about a tablespoon of lime juice and salt to taste. And now we have salsa verde for chip dipping, for tacos, for ice cream sundaes. Weird bedroom stuff. Weird bedroom stuff. Pretty much anything you want to do with it. So these are not canned. They have not been water bathed. I don't intend to do that. We're going to keep them in the fridge because we'll eat them pretty quickly. And that is the non-cooking cooking segment for the day. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out on our low-key weekend at home. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss out on, on our new videos. Now we're gonna go eat some cookout food and brisket. And I'm very excited. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram too. Okay, thanks, bye.